Welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. I'm here with Lauren. Hello! My regular guest star. Yep. Today we are in Manchester, we are. so we've come down on a coach trip. We took a chance, booked a coach trip. <laughs> Expect to be the youngest people on it <laughs> by quite a while, quite a lot. We're actually not. We're not, quite not at all. I'm a bit cold. <laughs> you are. <laughs> um, yeah, we're, not, so we're not the youngest people on it at all, so no. we're pleasantly surprised. Pleasantly and surprised. it's been good so far. Yes. So we've been to Selfridges. We've done some swatching at Gucci. We're gonna have a wander round and have Not some things so far. No, we've been really good. I'm quite impressed with us. Um, yeah, I will take you around the shops. the same. I feel like they're they're so, so expensive. expensive for what they are. I'd rather put extra money to it and get something better. Uh -huh. I do but like I do them. like them. Yeah. Them in, um, Olivia Palermo or? had one at one point and you know that's that's the standard reason for me to like something. It's snuggly. Yeah. Ooh, how exciting. I'm so excited. I love the packaging. I really like this packaging and this packaging, the sort of art deco one. I'm not as keen on the matte, I mean it's still lovely, don't get me wrong, but it's not as lovely as the satin packaging, but I feel like I would like a matte formula the most. We have swatched. And now I'm gonna wipe it off and start again. Move your hand. Just to like Oh, that's really pretty. I feel like the camera is not picking up how sparkly it is. Pleasing. So Lauren Lovely. has swatched this Natasha Denona Love, Love Glow Cheek Palette. And I, I don't know, to be fair, that's like that sparkly. I don't know if I'd want it on my cheeks, but like, as an eyeshadow, it's very done, but Ooh, plenty of pigment left. Ooh, I like this. It's very pretty. And I like the packaging a lot. Me too. Because I'm a child and that sort of thing absolutely appeals to me. Me too. That's lovely. It's very lovely. It really looks like Oh, it's been a while since we've been out in such busy. I know, it's so busy. Not interested? Not at all. Look at this, it's very cute with a little polar bear. Very American. Yeah, they're like squishy. Oh, that's pleasing. It's like puffy. I just want the squishy. Oh, little cat. Let's get mittens on. Kitten so mittens. Loves... <gasps> Kitten mittens. And look at the little bear with his little sparkly scarf. He's so cute. I can't really I've not even looked at like Coach's website for a Christmas song. No, neither oh. have I. Which is weird considering I've got that Rexy with our... Oh, oh look, there's Rexy. Rexy mask. Oh, the mask. Oh, who needs them now? <laughs> Not in England anyway. <laughs> Scotland still needs them. I am probably going to buy this tote bag, but in the neutral colour in the leather at some point. Um, I feel like it would be quite a sensible bag for me to have, but I do very much enjoy this floral print. I feel like buying an expensive canvas bag is a bit of a waste of money because it's definitely got a lifespan, even a good quality one. And I feel like the leather one is going to last you so much longer. But I do very much enjoy this design. Look, it's a pearl covered hat. It would match my pearl covered jumper that I'm wearing today. One of the most impressive bottles I've ever seen. Yeah, the font's not great. It should be a nicer font, but not. yeah. But like the top of them, gorgeous. Oh. I like a pleasingly heavy bottle. I'm I'm into yeah. I like a weight. I like a weight. But no, not not the best font choice. 
Oh, look at the red one. Oh, the black's nice. It stands out nice on the black. It does stand out very nicely on the black. a beautiful coat. It looks very cozy. Oh, I like that. I like the fact it's got the black collar and it kind of contrasts and just adds, what? you know. Oh, and I think that's removable. Yeah, it is. Oh, it is. So you can take the black collar off and just have like a matching collar if you want. But I quite like the contrast. It is very nice. Try it on. It's what we're here for. I'm holding Lauren's bag while she tries things on and pretending that it's my Louis Vuitton world traveler speedy. <laughs> it's lovely. Yes. Your face isn't in it. <laughs> Oh, I love that. And it looks so cozy with your boots. I'm gonna have to go look in the mirror. Go look in the mirror. We like this building. Look at it. It's green. It's literally made for me. Hello, so it's a little bit later. We've been to Selfridges. I don't know if you'll be able to hear me at all. We've done a round of the shops and we have come to the Peaky Blinders Bar, which I am so excited about. Lauren doesn't watch this show. Seen it. So Lauren's got the Manchester Spritz. I ordered the Monaghan Boy, so named after obviously the horse from season one for those of you who do watch Peaky Blinders. So this is the menu. So you've got a little illustration of Tommy in the front. Uh, classics are just standard drinks. And then if you go over the page, so you've got Peaky Classic, so you've got Monaghan Boy. Starbucks at the service station and Lauren has got decisively more hers has got like ribbons and stuff on it it's nicer it's more festive but I've still got a festive cup a few weeks ago I was in Costa and a lot of you had sent me a recommendation saying ask for the syrup from the coffee because I don't drink coffee and a hot chocolate if you want to try it so that is what I've done today I've got a gingerbread hot chocolate because they sell a fudge brownie hot chocolate that I thought might be a little too rich for me especially at this time in the morning but they have a gingerbread latte so I decided to combine and get a gingerbread hot chocolate. 
and then I got a muffin. It was called the Cranberry Christmas Cheesecake Muffin. Um, I need quite a lot of like festive themed food items but I felt like because this had fruit in it it made it more of a, a breakfast item so that's what I went for but I could see me coming back to Starbucks several times to make my way through the menu. Hey guys, so I don't really know what you'll have actually heard earlier. We started vlogging in the middle of Manchester. So Lauren and I have come to Manchester for, well, we're Manchester today, Liverpool tomorrow. Um, we took a chance on a Caledonian travel coach trip thing that was like £80 included. Trip to Manchester, Liverpool tomorrow, dinner tonight. So could have been terrible, but actually we're in a Holiday Inn. I've made a bit of a mess already. <laughs> This is fine, there's nothing incriminating. And it's actually worked out all right. Oh, I'm gonna bin this. This is my sandwich from earlier that I've kept specifically to tell you. This is the M&S Boxing Day Triple and I quite enjoyed it. I only had half of the ham one, half of the turkey one. The Wensleydale with the carrot and orange chutney was excellent. Would recommend this. Have carted it around half the day. Specifically to tell you guys that it, it was good. So hopefully that's been worth me carting it around all day. We went to Manchester earlier, uh, went to Selfridges, we wandered around to Christmas markets, Lauren and bought a beautiful coat and, and other stories. Are you pleased with your coat? I'm very pleased with it, I think it was a good purchase. I think it was a good purchase yeah. too. It was one of those ones that like she put it on and I was like that looks like you own it already because it's so perfectly yours. Um, so yes, good purchases. Then from there we went to the Peaky Blinders bar which I was so excited about. Um, so I had a Monaghan Boy cocktail Lauren had. Uh, it's called a Manchester Spritz and it was very nice. Yeah. Um, so I did try and vlog in the bar, but it was really, really loud. It opens mm. at 12 and I feel like for old people like me, <laughs> I should go at 12, but like there was music Easy and about. groups of people. It was very busy. Manchester in general was- It's a Saturday it, afternoon and yeah. today I think it's the like first Saturday of the Christmas markets. So it was very, very busy. Yeah, it, um, it got quite kind mm -hmm. of- Chaotic. Kind of chaotic, chaotic. Chaotic. Um, quite chaotic, like the stress levels were kind of getting high at points. Um, he says tomorrow, which is Liverpool, will be a bit more chilled and I'm very excited about Liverpool because we're going on a tour in the morning. We've signed up for a city tour and it's going to take us past Ringo Starr's birthplace, which I'm not particularly excited about, but that's like two streets over from where they film the Watery Lane stuff for Peaky Blinders. And then the Liverpool Christmas markets are right at St George's Hall, which was also in Peaky Blinders. So I feel like this is whole the whole thing's turned into a bit of a Peaky Blinders moment for me, which was unplanned, but I'm enjoying. Um, but now we're going to go down for dinner. Hey guys, so we have had dinner. Not gonna win any like cuisine awards, but it was absolutely fine. I will link up the trip that we have done down below. It's with Caledonian Travel. And as I say, I think it was 79 pounds. Mm -hmm. Um, which is more expensive than the normal one because this is the Christmas one so if you do it not at Christmas I think it's £69 and really for the money cannot complain um, but I'm going to sign off this vlog here tonight and pick up with Liverpool tomorrow for day three of Vlogmas so I hope you've enjoyed it and I'm going to leave you with this view from our bedroom of the Christmas tree that I totally meant to go out and vlog for you outside after dinner but forgot and now I'm up in the room and I'm too lazy to go back down so please enjoy the tree outside of the Holiday Inn Stockport and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye! <laughs>